Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm McKenna Alexander. It's been nearly two months since George Floyd was killed in Minneapolis, leading to nationwide protests, with some still continuing in larger cities such as Portland, Oregon, where federal agents have been deployed and protesters arrested. This afternoon, the Eau Claire Justice League and Chippewa Valley ACLU staged a rally in solidarity with those protesters and their message of anti-racism and police reform. Luke Seidel, a political director of the EC Justice League, says his organization is calling for the Eau Claire police to ban the use of chemical irritants and non-lethal projectiles, which have been used against protesters in other areas of the country. He added, although Eau Claire hasn't seen outright violence from law enforcement toward people of color, racism is still alive in our community. And making those department changes is a good precaution, he says, to ensure similar attacks don't happen here in the future. We don't see that so clearly here in Eau Claire, but racism hides in the cracks. It is systemic, it is unconscious, and we need to make sure that that does not happen by putting it into the codes, into the laws, into the books. Seidel says a formal proposal will be presented to the city council, as well as Eau Claire Police Chief Matt Rokas, who Seidel says has been receptive to past conversations with the Justice League.